Hi and welcome to this PowerShell tutorial video. This tutorial video is actually a request coming from Parker Magnuson. I hope I pronounced that correctly. Um, his request was really to find out how to add um, a specific column in a CSV file or Excel file. So I'm going to be doing CSV files this time. Um, and in a future video, I will probably touch on Excel files just because there's actually a little bit of a prerequisite that I would want to do. Um, with you guys on videos on how to import Excel files into PowerShell. So we're going to be covering CSV files. Uh, so what he has is he has a specific folder. Um, he or she um, has a specific folder uh, with multiple CSV files in it. And they want to be able to go through the CSV files and point to a specific column and get the total uh, from that column and then output the file name and that total from that column. Uh, and then I'm assuming that he, uh, they might want um, maybe the total of the column throughout all the files. So I'm going to be adding that feature in. Uh, so let's go ahead and let's actually get started. So what I actually already have is uh, some CSV files. Uh, so if we open them up here, we can see them. And what I'm actually just going to do is I'm going to use just a comma delimiter here instead of semicolons. So let me just save that. And then I'm going to edit this one and do the same thing, uh, just so it's really comma delimited files that we are working with. Perfect. So those are my um, comma delimited files. Uh, so all we have is an ID, hours worked, and pay rate. Uh, so this is just a very, very simple CSV file that I made just to have columns that I can add numbers from. Uh, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be calculating the total hours worked uh, throughout, um, whether this be a day. We just want to know the um, amount of hours worked for each file um, from our 10 employees that we have. Uh, so that's what we're going to be doing. And they are all in this folder here called CSV files in my C drive. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to add a file in here and I'm just going to name it test. And this is going to be a text file. Uh, there's not going to be anything in it. We don't really need to put anything in it. I'm going to be showing you guys how to only grab the CSV files. So if anyone puts any other file in there that you might not want included, uh, we can actually avoid that. So let's go ahead and let's get started. Uh, so here we have our Visual Studio Code environment. So all we're going to be doing now is let's just open up a folder and I'm actually going to write the script in the same folder. Uh, you guys can write the script anywhere. That really doesn't matter. Um, but I'm just going to be doing it in that same folder. So here we have it. So I'm going to be creating a script and I'm just going to call it um, CSV call adder.ps1. All right, so we have our two CSV files and we have our empty text file. So the first thing that we need to really do is point our script to know the folder path of all these files. So let's go ahead and let's create a variable called folder path. And I'm going to be set that equal to uh, C colon backslash scripts backslash uh, oops, not in scripts, the backslash CSV files. So that is my folder. And then what we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and we're going to grab the CSV files now. So I'm going to create a variable called CSV files, and we're going to make that equal to get child item. So what that does is it gets all the children item from a specific path. And our path that we're going to put in here is going to be our folder path and we are going to apply a filter and our filter is going to be in double quotes we are going to do a star dot csv and this is only going to grab the csv files so if we actually just run these two lines here and then we just look at what is in csv files we can see our two csv files now if i was to remove this filter and run this code again and then look at what is in csv files we can actually see that we get the ps1 script that i'm writing and we also get the text file 
And we don't want that because we only want to be looking at the CSV file. So we always want to make sure that we get that filter uh, for CSV files. And then what we're going to want now is we already know that we want to loop through all these CSV files and add that specific column. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is just do it for each. We're going to do CSV file in the CSV files, open and close curly bracket. And then in here, I'm going to create a variable called data. And we're going to get that equal to an import CSV. And for the path, we are going to go ahead and just put CSV file. Our delimiter, um, you don't have to put one in this case if you're using commas, but if you are using semicolons or anything else, I would highly recommend to put that delimiter. We're going to put the delimiter anyways. And then what we're going to want to do, so if we run this here, We don't really get anything output, but we do see if we look in our data, we get the most recent file that it imported, we can see the data. So then what we need, because we know that we're calculating a total for a set column. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a variable called total, and I'm gonna make that equal to zero. And then I'm gonna do a for each. And then in there, we're gonna have row in data. So for each row in our data, we are then going to set the variable total to plus equal dollar row. And here we're going to have dot hours work because that's the column that I want to calculate. And then what we can do is we can just do a simple write output and let's just write the total for now. So if we run this, we can see that we get 370 and 342. So these would be our totals. Now, right now, that's not very useful because um, we don't know what file that they're coming from. Uh, we don't really know a whole lot and everything is kind of manually done here. So what I would do to improve on this is I would actually create a variable here at the top before our for each loop. We're gonna create a variable called call to calculate. And we're going to make that equal to hours worked. And then this way we can reference row dot call to calculate. And then this way, if you ever change the column name that you want to calculate, you could simply come up here and change it. It's much easier to do um, later on in your script. If you want to change it, it's a lot easier to find. And then what I would also do here is I would create a export variable. And I would make that equal to a square bracket and closing square bracket. And we're going to create a system dot collections dot array list because we know array lists are much more efficient than arrays, especially when we get into a large, uh, large data sets. And I'm not sure how many files that Parker was going to be calculating. So I'm going to use an array list. Um, if it's only 10, I'm still getting the benefit from the array list anyways. Um, but if he's working with thousands and thousands of files, the array list will be much easier for them. So let's go ahead and at this point, what we're going to be doing is we are actually going to be creating a new object. So we're going to say that the um, export, we're going to create a variable called export data. It's going to be equal to new dash object type name is going to be a PS object. And we're going to do a add member. The input object is going to be export data. The type name is going to be note property and then the oh sorry not type name that's going to be member type is going to be note property and then our name is going to be um, we are going to say file name 
and that for the value is going to have dollar sign csv file dot name now you can have full name the full name will be the full file path um, but since we already know the folder that we are looking in i'm just putting the dot name so it's just going to give us the file name then i'm going to do another add member uh, the input object is going to be export data and then the member type again is going to be a note property and then the name we are going to set this one to uh, total uh, we're going to say total from and then in here we're going to put our variable of call to calculate so it's telling us what column the total is from and then for the value we are going to go ahead and we are going to put in our total and then after that what we're going to do is we're going to do export dot add we're going to add our export data and we are just going to put a square bracket square bracket void in front of that so we don't get the output from the add uh, so that should be pretty good and then what we can do is we can just do a write output for export so now if we run this here so here we have our nice table, which we have the file name. So we have file1.csv. The total from hours worked is 370. The file name file2.csv, total from hours worked is 342. So there you have it. That's how you would go in and take in a specific folder with multiple CSV files and then adding the sum of a specific column that you want and then outputting that to the screen to the user um, and showing what file and what that total is from that column and then what you would even be able to do is you can then take this export that you have um, and really calculate the total from all the totals if you really needed that um, so that would be how i would do that and then you would also be able to do this with excel files uh, so like i said that will be a video in the future um, expect some powershell excel integration videos um, probably pretty soon um, i should have those out for you guys so if you guys liked this video hit that like and subscribe button down below if you guys have any comments questions or if you guys have uh, questions that you guys would like to see videos on as well leave that down in the comments below and hit that notification bell to be notified when that next video comes out and i will see you guys on the next video